Hello and welcome to another episode of Making a Difference. I'm your host, Cindy Ashton from the Daily Ad Brief, coming to you from New York City. And we are going to head over to sunny California to meet a, an old friend of mine. She's absolutely remarkable. She's a vet and she is now doing amazing work with her company, Baskets and Brett Beads, Kenya. Please welcome to the show, Aldana Fernandez. Hello, Aldana. Hey. Hi, good to see you. Hey, hey I'm so excited. <laughs> so I, you know, when, I, when we were hanging out, when I lived in California, you were like doing, think like a negotiator and pulling from your military background. And now you were doing some, which was doing amazing work, but now you're doing really amazing work in Kenya. Tell us about how you're making a difference in that part of your life. So I'm working with a group of over 30 women in poverty, helping them get a market in the U.S. by selling their handcrafted baskets, beads, and bags. And we've actually added more groups as a result of my just starting there with only five women. We're over 30 now in one area, and then another 30 in another area and spreading fast. That is amazing. Now, as part of this, not only are you able to employ these women and bring income to them, you're also giving back in another way. Well, we're helping actually, we're helping a lot of women get out of poverty. And then another thing that we're doing, and I ended up forming a nonprofit, is we're helping kids end up getting their school fees paid. Uh, there's no government help for kids and it costs money to go to school there. They have to pay for uniforms and all the supplies and a lot of families just can't afford it. So we're actually helping with that as well. Aldana, that's really amazing that you, that you're doing this. Where did it e even start? How did this all go from being, you know, the negotiating badass to where you are now? Well, I am still teaching and training now and then on how to think like a negotiator, but I went on a mission trip in 2020. Of course, I love negotiation. I went on a mission trip in 2018 with a group and we went over there to do some service work with different groups around the Katali, Kenya area, which is about eight hours from the city of Nairobi. And I met these women as towards the end of the trip and saw they made this beautiful handcrafted jewelry. Some of it you see behind me, I'm wearing one of the pieces here. And one of the ladies gifted me with a necklace made out of magazines. And I had this woke up with this God inspired idea to buy some beads and sell them with my book when I was speaking and brought back only half a suitcase of beads. And now I have a whole warehouse full. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's incredible and what i love about that story is just that you showed up and you kept going with whatever was inspiring you to keep going and the impact you're now making is remarkable so who do you feel is somebody or a group of people that have truly inspired you to be who you are today Oh, gosh, I've had so many people inspire me, obviously, from my Air Force career that inspired me. I came from a pretty rough upbringing. My mother died of alcoholism when I was young and my father basically shut out and I had to take care of myself. And I joined the Air Force when I was 19. And I think watching different leaders and learn how to become a leader in the military is something that <clears throat> made the foundation of my life. But one another person I really was inspired by was Mary Kay Ash and Mary Kay Cosmetics, who I embraced a lot, a lot of her philosophies like fail forward to success. That's a lot of amazing influences. Yes, fail forward to success. That's remarkable. And then I also know you're doing stuff in the, in the community around vets. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, as a retired Air Force veteran, I work with a veterans ministry at my church and we do different outreach things. Obviously, COVID kind of put a damper on that. So we're reengaging. We go to the Veterans uh, Administration Hospital. We visit the spinal ward there and inspire veterans there. And we do other outreach to other veterans groups. We speak on behalf of veterans and then we have our weekly meeting and we connect with other veterans and inspire veterans that are going through the transition to uh, that you can have life after the military that's something that's really tough but uh, it's just kind of an outreach that had started to grow and covid kind of i guess caused it to have to be put on the shelf but now we're re-engaging and reaching out to more vets and just inspiring vets to know that you can do anything you want even after the military 
Aldana, you are a remarkable woman. I am so grateful that you have come on the show. I mean, since the day I met you 14 years ago, I don't know, a long time ago, you have been a remarkable woman. Thank you so much for coming on the show and just showing your heart and your soul and your brilliance. Oh, thanks for so much for having me. Absolutely. And for those of you watching, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Making a Difference. If you would like to connect with the amazing Aldana, please go to dailyadbrief.com and we will see you on another episode very soon. Simplify presents Addressable CTV. Combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.